So today I'm going to be taking you through how to install Mesa's texture pack for Pocket um, on Android. The way we're going to do this is using Pocket Tool, I'm using a Sony tablet so there's no way to actually screen record with the Tegra 2 at the moment. If anyone knows of one please can they comment in the, in the uh, uh, below the video just to let me know and I'll use that instead. Okay so um, what we're going to need is first we'll need to go to a browser and we need to go to like I say when my keyboard arrives we need to go to jarswap.com that's our website Okay, and on there, there's the uh, Mesa Pocket page which you can use, and that will take you through. And the reason we're doing this is because Pocket Tool actually looks in your in your device's downloads folder. So we'll click on the link to the uh, Minecraft forum topic. Scroll down, read it look at the pictures and keep going past the installation videos and at the very bottom you'll see uh, a download link so we'll click on that and that will actually download the zip file into the downloads folder for your phone or tablet once that's complete you can see it's trying to do that now somewhere once that's complete, you'll need to go to the Play Store and download something called Pocket Tool. First time I used this, it did not work. Um, there's Pocket Tool, but the, but I've used it since and it works brilliantly now. So if you then install, it's free and open it. If I'm just going to go back to the main menu, obviously I was still open. Well, oh, come on. Right. Oh god, it's gone sideways. Stupid thing. Ah. Typical. Right, anyway, I mean, you can't really see it now, that's brilliant. So one of, one of the buttons says install downloaded content. Is it going to swip right around? Yeah, there we go. When you go into install downloaded content, under the textures tab, you will notice the zip file that you've just downloaded. MCPE 0.5.0 Mesa R2. Okay, if you click on that and hold, click on it and hold, no click on this one and hold it'll ask you if you want to install you can't see that but it says install you click install and then when we go back to the main menu and click on toolkit the top option says change textures if you then select the textures tab you'll notice that now it says MCPE 0.5.0 me cell see can you see that just about if you now long press on it, it'll ask you if you want to use. You say use. Okay. And then down at the bottom, there's a button you can press for the menu. It says apply changes on the left here. When you click apply changes, it will begin patching the game. First thing it's going to do is actually uninstall uh, Minecraft Pocket and then so it'll uninstall the current version and then install the patched version and this will work for any texture pack I'm only demonstrating it with the one I've made as long as the texture pack maker has packaged his textures as just the assets with all the images that are required to change that will be fine install 
I waited a bit too long there. That error doesn't come up normally. I just sat there not pushing buttons. So yeah, now it's installing uh, Minecraft Pocket. I'm really sorry about the menu switching to the left there, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, right. If I start the game now. And head into my uh, showcase world that I've made just to take pictures of all the blocks. As you can see, this is in Mises 64 texture pack. Okay, so like I say, that's how you'd get it all done on the. Uh, and here's the GUI. And all the blocks are complete. Now, some people have been asking me questions while I'm looking at this. See the door here, and the uh, the bed, and the ladder. A few of those textures are actually 16 by 16 inside a texture pack, which a texture file which has 64 by 64 blocks for the rest. So, for some reason, Mojang have decided that certain items, including all the tools. So you'll notice it mostly in survival. I might just quickly go into survival mode. Right. What you'll notice is, see the tools? They're not in Mesa. And there's a very good reason for that, and it's because of the way the image is made for the GUI blocks file. All of the GUI blocks are in a grid for the actual blocks, but then when you get to the things like tools and the torch, they're all much, much smaller and in a row at the very bottom. Um, I could convert these, but they would still look just as pixelated. So I'm sort of, uh, you know, tossing up whether I should do that. So anyway, that concludes the installation. As you can see, everything's working. It's all in the Mises texture pack, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, um, have fun with that. And I hope it wasn't too blurry. Um, I've updated this so that we can use Pocket Tool to install Android users due to the Astro File Manager no longer allows you to copy the assets into your backed up APK. So, um, if that wasn't clear enough, I will make another one. If anyone knows of a screencasting app that will work on this, uh, this particular model, the Sony Tablet S, please let me know. But none of them have been compatible with the Tegra 2 so far. So. Unfortunately, I can't just do a simple screen record. I've got to record it like this. So, but anyway, that's how you get it done. Um, all like I say, it's very simple. You just install Pocket Tool um, and then install in the same way that I just showed you. Okay, so that's it. Uh, rate and subscribe. Please leave your comments below.